Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to Airport CEO. That's right, we're at episode 9 now. This feels a bit surreal saying episode 9. Um, <laughs> it's quite, quite incredible, really. And hopefully we're going to do a couple of shorter episodes to keep your little, little lips wet. We did have a couple of comments from the last video, one of them um, saying, cool video, so thanks for that, I appreciate that, uh, Tom. But we had another uh, comment just in regards to our restaurants and shops. Um, uh, the gentleman who I well, don't want to... Gentleman or lady, I don't want to butcher their name. Um, wow, bloody hell, look at the queues. Um, but um, did make it clear that um, he had shops and restaurants, but basically what was happening was um, our commuters were actually finding themselves, they may have been sort of in the far end of the airport, but visiting the shop, and it was making them late for flights. And it might be an issue we may experience going forward. I haven't obviously experienced it yet because we only have the one shop, and we have had a couple of delays of people getting on and off flights. But I don't necessarily think it's because of the shops. Uh, we'll build a couple more because this is absolutely pointless because the queues are astronomical. And that will be causing a problem, I can imagine, actually, for flights and stuff. Um, but there are a few things we do need to do today, mainly for this, um, which is the security system for our baggage handling. Now, we can do this rather quickly. Um, we can do it above ground or below. Um, but what I might do is build it above ground and then Tran and then and then hook it up to the blow really quickly, so that we don't have any issue with um, with any delays of air, air, like any delays or anything. That I know I know what I'm saying. Um, so the two things that we need at the minute is a baggage scanner, uh, which we can put here, um, uh, absolutely, um, and the baggage scanner will scan baggage that is like either negative Nancy or whatever. Um, and there's a bit of package going underground there. <laughs> How silly. Um, so we need this in place. So we're going to place that there for a second. And then what we need is we need a baggage destroyer. And what this will do is and basically destroy any baggage that um, has been rejected for whatever reason. And we can put the... Oh, no, we can't really put it there. Um, I suppose we can put it here the baggage annihilator um, and then what we do is nice and simple conveyor belt system um, is merge that along there and that there we can get rid of that for now um, so it'll just destroy any dangerous bags because right now we are getting incidents where baggage is is going to the wrong place now what we will need to do is obviously build um, a conveyor belt system to allow us to use this because currently it's going underground and through here and we need to just change that up a little bit so what we're going to do um, is uh, build a conveyor belt going in here and then this conveyor belt is going to come out here just for now and this again will change eventually and going to there um, that way then what it'll do is it'll go through and we can just remove this when we're not using it what we also need to do is grab our elevator to go up so if we press down here and we press up there that should mean that we're now underground which is good and then what we can do is get our conveyor belt system and it can come up here and to there now until this is built we won't destroy any point of this the first point we need to destroy is this bit here but we won't do that yet until it's all built by our amazing workers um, who have done an absolutely stellar job. Once we've built that scanner, it'll tell us to build the annihilator, which we've got to build now as well. And then it'll ask us to scan 50 bags, is what it'll do. So that's all going to be in place. We're just laying down the final bit there. Fantastic. Now what we can do is start to destroy this conveyor belt system. Now we want, I should have started with this block and it's fine, they will start going up in a second once the first block's destroyed. Um, but we can end up demolishing it all now actually. And there we go, bags should, they'll still go this way, but they should start veering off now. If they've already seen that path, they will, oh crap, 
There we go. Some people just won't get their luggage. What a shame. Um, <laughs> uh, we can annihilate all that and get rid of the idea of that lift there. So now what should happen is bags will go through this. And if they are rejected, like this one here could have contained a gun, then like, oh, this one here, checked baggage content unknown. Okay. They've just did, they're just going to destroy loads of bags by the looks of it. Now, right now, this is quite... It's not very good, because it's annihilating a lot more bags, and it's not an accurate checker, so it doesn't do a good enough job to establish what's actually good and what's not. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about all these bags here. Hopefully, they'll be sorted through soon. Hopefully, we've got no late planes. Is it the flight monitor? Um, no, it's looking okay. Maybe could be doing a little bit better here. Um, we do only have one baggage area. Like I said, I might be doing another one down here to service our smaller aircraft because it might work better. Um, but right now, uh, things are looking good. Oh, look at this. We can have catering now. Oh, my word. Did we research that? That's a dangerous thing to research. Um, but it looks like bags are being picked up relatively okay. Um, seriously, one bag for that? What? It's going to the small aircraft stand with all of those trains on it. That's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're still getting reports of dangerous stuff, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it still wants us to scan ten more bags. I'm surprised we haven't done that yet. Um, going through our system. I guess, do we have any flights going out? Uh, I guess we do. Just not a lot of checking in bags. Um, there's going to be one that comes through here in a minute. Definitely not got any issues here, have we? Let's remove the bag. Can we, can we do that? Apparently not. I don't know. It's not good, because they're never going to get their bags back. Didn't exactly work as I wanted it, though, did it? Um, there we go. We, we've, we've done very well here now. So the one thing it wants us to do now is remote stands. Now, we haven't done remote stands before. Um, we may start... Um, we may have a look. We have to do one, apparently. Um, um, because flights operate on a remote stand, we'll get a 45 minutes extra turnaround to cope with the added transfer process. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Um, but I haven't looked at doing them yet, and this airport isn't necessarily built for them. Although we could easily make it be built for them, just by having a service road go down here to here. And then it could end up going to any other remote stands. So we could potentially build some remote standard um, things here and actually have them really cramped together. Um, it's something you can definitely do, um, which is cool. Again, more dangerous luggage, and that's going to give us a fine, uh, which we don't really want. Um, but that's okay. We're doing very well. Everything seems to be a little bit hunky-dory, and we've got a bit of money now, which is good. Now, the first thing we need to do is um, research the remote stand service, which we're going to do now because we are able to start the project. And I'll chuck as many as I can, three people onto it, which is again okay. Um, this has made me, this will prompt me to actually add some more um, computers, um, just mainly because we need more computers now. Um, so what we can do is focus on our new office. Um, so what I'm going to do here um, is we can always have this as actually one of the areas, so we can chop this office in half. So we're going to do just that. Let's chop the office in half, and we can put a... Um, I don't want to put a door there, really. We don't need a door there. We need a door... Actually, what we can do is remove this wall, like so, and make it a secure area. It doesn't have to be staff anymore, so we can remove the staffiness of this area. Uh, yeah, delay the flight. I don't know why Why is it delayed. Baggage. Yeah, we knew this was going to be a problem. Um, how do we go to that there? Baggage is loading now. Is it ready? God, we're balling this up slowly, aren't we? This is not going as well as I wanted it to. I'm, I'm sort of confused. So what's wrong? He can't fire. 
that staff room. Why not? Why can't you just walk around like Craig David? It'll take you a while. Oh no, he's... Maybe he's found it now. I have no frickin' idea. Anyway, so what we can do is if we go to staff, and we go to staff areas, um, this is all a staff area still, that's good. This needs to be secure. So we need to make that a secure area. Um, and then we can go around to that and we can sort the remote stand out in a minute when we need to. We don't need to do that right now, but we will end up doing it. That's the most important thing. But here, what we need to do is put in place some, uh, is our sort of staff room. Uh, this isn't a staff room at the moment, that's fine. It will be. Staff room. This is a staff room. Now, this is going to be one of those horrible sort of offices. And at, the, at first we'll put ten... Oh, crap. Oh, look at that. Twelve new office desks. Um, and they're going to be for our new set of administrators, because we do need some more administrators. And you five, you're all hired. Congratulations on being fantastic. Now what we will do here is um, make... Oh, I like this blue. Maybe this can be office blue. Oh, wonderful. It can be office blue. And we're going to have um, a couple of plants as you walk in. Uh, maybe a couple of plants at the end of the desks there because we want that to look pretty. And then um, we're going to put just a little... Oh, look at that. Nice juicy sofa area here. Um, so people can chill out. Um, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, oh, look, more sofas. Oh, how wonderful. Let's get them in place. Maybe a couple along here. So they can all chill with their friends. And then maybe we place in another beautiful plant. Let's like the banana plant, for instance. And this will give us somewhere new for our administrators to start going to work. And that way then we can dump more administrators on jobs. So, for example, now I've got more administrators to chuck on there. And the most administrators to chuck on there. And that should speed both of those up quite nicely. We likey likey, this is good news. So, uh, now we're scanning for bags and stuff like that, which is good news. And now we're... Um, Package collection could be a little bit faster and a, a bit more efficient. Um, dangerous. Oh my word, we're not doing very well at this. Um, what we need to do now is um, ideally bring in another baggage bay. Um, and this baggage bay will be utilised um, basically to offer our uh, to offer our small flights the ability to have baggage delivered directly to them. Now, I thought about this very, very religiously, and what I might look at doing is closing aircraft, uh, an aircraft stand for it. Um, I thought about it because it needs to sort of be attached to a building, um, but then it's going to be finicky how we get this road around and stuff like that. So I went against the idea. So what we're going to do instead um, because this works relatively well over here, is um, I'm going to put it over here. Now, what we will need to do is connect the stands and then connect those bits as to what goes where um, ourselves and do it all manually, but we can do that and it shouldn't take too long to sort of mess around with that, adding a new faster sort of baggage bay, because right now this baggage bay is dealing with a lot of stuff. So we want it to just deal solo with these small aircraft stands. Um, and then what we'll do effectively is leave this as the small aircraft stand airport. Um, and we, we can do this a certain way eventually by changing things about a bit. But right now things are good. Now, I think, didn't we have subways? I think we did. And these are great because you can now have subways here so people can come in and out of the uh, subway to go into your airport and it frees up a bit of traffic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the subway there I think if I'm allowed 
I don't know whether that can go there. I don't know how much that cost. I'm concerned about this on my road. I guess it couldn't go there because of the bus. Maybe. Lovely. That actually turns out to look really quite nice, doesn't it? And then what we can do is bring that there and now we have a subway and it means that we might see less traffic here and people can just what's wrong with you oh you can't get to the subway yet no that's because we haven't built a sidewalk don't worry it's coming it might just take them a little minute for my workers to come and fit the rest of the sidewalk now they should be able to use the subway and look at this we are getting some use of our subway um, and that's good news well done, everybody. These people still can't... Why? You can. The subway is fully accessible now. We're getting a lot of this, actually. A lot of issues. I don't understand. Is that a one-way system? They all seem to be having an issue crossing the road. This is a problem. Oh crap. Do I do I demolish it? D d bulldoze the thing. I don't want it. If it's going to be a pain in my backside, there's no way I want to have it at the moment. Maybe we put it alongside here. And and then there should be no issues. God, what a palaver. I just wanted to make things easier for you people. But no, you just want to make things harder. It says subway entrance. Does that mean... What, is there an exit? It can't go anywhere else. I put it in a near perfect place. Maybe. Oh. Maybe if we. It's sort of odd that you can't place it in certain places. It costs an awful lot of money. Maybe we put it here. Maybe. We'll see what happens. It's cost us a lot of money again. Hopefully not to make another mistake. Um, we do have the money, not to burn, but... Whoops, whoops, twice, whoops, three times. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Hopefully this works. Now watch as it fails again. Yeah, she can't find a path either now. I don't understand why. I don't understand. Is it? Is there an issue with... Oh my goodness, I know there's a problem. Give me a second. Because it says we can't place it there. We can place this here, but... Oh, look how many people... Someone got through. Did you see that? Or was it someone that cut through? Yeah. Lots of issue with the subway. Maybe it's just not working. Are they meant to be inside of airports? I don't know. Let's close it. People just came out the subway then. I think these people are going to be leaving. And then let's open it. No, there's more issues. Oh, my dear lord. Delete it. I don't want a subway. Does it... Is the, I mean, it doesn't say anything about where it needs to be placed. It's... I don't know whether... An efficient but costly work in passengers and staff to and from your airport. Can you put it inside an airport? No. Strange. Okay, looks like we're never having a subway. That's a shame. Maybe we'll just have to suffer with subway eatery. <laughs> the McDonald's is doing well. So is the spa. It's doing very well, actually. It should easily achieve its objective. Anyway, we got sidetracked quite heavily. 
Um, we haven't completed the R&D project yet, although that's very close now. Um, what a waste of monumental waste of my time. These people are stuck forever as well. They'll never be able to move. They're forever stuck. And it's probably delayed Lord knows how many of my flights. Just because of passengers, mainly. Maybe not. It's not too bad. Okay, we'll worry about that in a minute. Goodness me. Anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to build um, some remote stands. Now, we can't do them right now. So what I am going to look at doing is, um, is putting in a new uh, baggage bay. And this baggage bay is going to go, I think, here. So what we need to do is build the terminal a little bit bigger. And I'm hoping this is the right side so we can get another slip road down the side. So I'm going to build it that big. And we're going to put a couple of remote stands in here, which we should be able to do no problem. Because we can have gates here, gates here, gates here, and a corridor here to go to the individual vehicle stops, is my thinking. So once this is in place, we can destroy... Oh, we don't want to destroy that wall. What we do need is a door. <laughs> Believe it or not. And then what we need to do is make this a staff room and make it secure as well. Not quite sure what that means. Might be the door. There we go. Then what we need to do is destroy this wall. Or at least the vast majority of it. And then bring in our baggage bay. Now it didn't actually have to be that bad, actually. Or that big, actually. But we're going to put the baggage bay there. Can we put it there, maybe further in, so it's not intruding into the traffic? Maybe we can. No, we are going to put it here. Excellent. Put that there. And then what we'll do is just to make sure, get the staff zone in there and the secure zone. Crap, where's the secure zone there? In like so. This will allow us to have another baggage bay, which will mean that um, life should be a little bit easier and stuff. Can we demolish this? We can. But then we can't have the wall actually right up against it. Yeah, we do sort of need the wall now, I suppose. Maybe we can build a little wall here like so. Lovely stuff. Then what we want to do is get in our service roads. Now, so the service road's going to come all the way through there like so. And then it's going to go up here. It's going to look weird to start off with. Things will change. This road will move eventually. Um, and maybe this will all change one day. But right now, we've got a lovely, beautiful new baggage bay area to be created. Um, along with a new road. I've just realised. Need service road there. Need service road there. So there we have it. A brand new baggage bay. And this will operate with these airline, uh, uh, small aircraft here. And that should allow us, I, I say should, it should allow us um, for some success. And what we can end up inevitably doing is just having these gates deal with small aircraft. Um, it, it could, yeah, and it, it might work better actually in terms of transferring um, uh, luggage. Yeah. So we'll, we'll try that and see what happens. This staff room is very nice. Completely not being used. I, I, put, I put it there to be used. And it, it literally is not being used at all. Like we have enough administrators to be using this staff room. And they're not using it. Do they not like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe... Oh no, he's going in there. No, he... he yeah. yeah, he is going to use that. Nice. Um, cool. What we're going to do in this staff room, I've decided because I'm horrible, is we're not going to allow um, contractors. Because <laughs> I just feel a bit evil. And then they, they'll have to either leave or go and use this staff room. 
<laughs> oh, so horrible. Um, anyway, um, everything's looking good. This baggage bay isn't open yet. Um, but on the whole, it should be very, very good um, now to utilize this. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to set these four desks, uh, check-in desks to operate on these alone. And hopefully I can do that. I'm not quite sure how. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me why. But that's what we're going to do. And it, I, I'm, yeah, we're, we're going to gamble. This is a gamble that may or may not pay off. I'm hoping it pays off. So, here we go. We can clear baggage bay or we can reconnect baggage bay on here. Which is fine, because we'll connect it to this baggage bay eventually. Then, these, we can clear the stand so the stand's connected. But here, at the moment... Oh. Okay. So, I think we can't... Can we not set the stands to only operate from a certain set of check-in desks? Answers on a postcard, please. Maybe not. I thought maybe we could. We know that which baggage bays we want them to go to. Ah. And maybe not then. Okay. I know that we'd get upgrades for the conveyor belt system. Maybe we just haven't got them yet. Um, but I thought we can get a stand to only connect to a certain check-in desk. Was my understanding. I might be wrong. Don't want to stand. Connect service car. Connect baggage bay. Clear baggage bay. Oh, man. This has been a really unproductive episode. I apologise, everybody. Uh, we have got remote stands, though. That's good news now. What I am going to do... What's a belt loader? Unlocks the belt loader, which provides a faster way to load medium aircraft. That's useful. Um, tilt tray is quite useful as well. High-speed conveyor belts is useful, too. Let's go for high-speed conveyor belts. Get to work. As many administrators as I can spare. Lovely stuff. Right, um... Okay, well, the plan's a bit tricky now, sort of, I suppose. What we'll do, let's get our conveyor belt system. We can at least set it up to fail. <laughs> so, I suppose what the plan would be here is to go underground, have a look at the current system. So, there's the current system. And at the moment, it's all going one way. And it goes to that security set, right? I think you need a directional changer for it to go to two different places. Like, you, you can come off here, but they won't. They'll just go straight. But for you to get that, you can have a change in direction, so it knows that certain luggage has to go this way. We can't do that yet, so we've prematurely built, I think. I think we need to research it, and then we get it, um, and we haven't got it yet. We haven't got a I want to go in this direction conveyor belt. So we can't, we can't actually, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> we built two things that doesn't, that don't work. We built a subway that doesn't work, and then we built everything else. Anyway, for goodness sake, let's do something different. Let's build something that might work. Um, I certainly hope it does. Let's, let's have a go. So we're going to build, um, go away thing. We're going to build some more surface road here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a air... I don't think... Do we need that? Do we need it to be that big? Let's start with a big one. We can have little cars. Um, but let's have a bus. There we go. We're going to build one to start off with and see what it looks like. We, I think we can only have a couple anyway um, in this section. So we're going to build this, which is going to allow us to have um, our remote stands. Now, build and connect a boarding desk to an airport shuttle bus stop. So what we can do here is potentially replicate <coughs> <coughs> this, I suppose. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build all... Could it go hit? No. Oh, I turned the camera. They didn't want to do that. 
I was going to put them in here and separate them slightly. So let's build a desk. Uh, it needs to be a medium desk. We can build one there for now. That's fine there. I'll allow it. And then what we'll have is we'll put in some nice large seating there, there, and there for now. Because um, this is more of a trial than anything. I've never done this before, um, ever. Then we'll get a nice large door. And that can be for both stands when we end up operating it. My dog's not very happy. Which makes complete sense. I might have not done this in the most logistically beautiful way, but whatever. We'll then connect this to an airside bus stop, which is like so. The game likes that, which is good news. Then it says build a car service stop and make sure the ramp agents have access to it. Bloody hell. This game can be made so tricky sometimes. It tell it told me to build the car service stop first. Why are you telling me oh bloody hell? Well I suppose I can do this. Goodness gracious. What we can do, um because what'll end up happening anyway is this'll all become staff zoning here. So um, what we need to do is make that staff zone, right? Then what we need to do, I hope this works, because I've had issues before, um, is we can have this here sort of thing, and then bring it across there like so, and then we can end up changing this to be staff only. Um, because it doesn't matter that it's staff only to these people, because they'll still walk on it when they need to catch the flight anyway, I believe. Because look, as you can see here, it's all staffed up, right? So we'll get it staff only like it requests. So we'll staff only that. We'll staff only that when it wants to. And then we'll secure it as well. Because it needs to be slightly secured like so, right? Now I'm one is assuming that ramp agents have access to this now. I hope so. I, I mean, build a service car stop. Oh bloody hell! Like it wants to make life more difficult. That's why I haven't completed this. This is fine. This works. I reckon it does. But because now it wants me to build a service car stop, because why not be more difficult? As if the game couldn't be more irritating. Build a newsstand and connect it to a boarding desk as well as a service car stop. So this doesn't even matter anymore. Genuinely does not matter. I built this with my heart. My genuinely loving heart built that. Devastated. Let's put in more pathway, although now it's directly connected. <laughs> Nearly enough directly connected to um, these guys. <laughs> so they could, they could, if they wanted to, they could just jump on a bus and get on a plane. This is absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Nice stuff. Right. Now, if we can make this all stuff accessible, lovely stuff. All that as well. We now have a fully accessible thing. So this, we're now going to clear that. We're going to connect it to that. Oh, connect it to it. Oh, what the blooming hell is this all about? There's a shuttle bus. There's a car. I don't care. We've done as we're told. Build a new stand and connect it to a boarding desk. Now I figured we could we could actually have this as what as an as a medium size boarding desk. We've got plenty of seats, I suppose, for it. 
so it could be a medium desk. So let's try it. Even if it breaks it slightly, I'm cool with it, because we can always fix it later. Let's be honest, nothing's worked this episode. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now, what I was thinking, we could put it there. I mean, that's cool. We can't put it there at the moment. But let's be honest, if we put it there, we could get away with it. I actually quite like it there. And then what we could do, because we don't have to build any taxiway or anything, it'd be really easy. Then what we do is we get a service road. Goodness me. Get a service road. I will get there today. It's been a bit of a finicky episode, isn't it, everybody? We, we can get this, push that there, push that there. Lovely stuff. And now everything will be connected. And, and it will drive up to this stand. It seems a bit ridiculous, but it would work. Believe it or not. I hope it works anyway. Let's find out. So, I'm genuinely excited about this, if this works. This also might not work because of this, but, but we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. The key is that we can get it connected once it's built. Once it's built, we can get it connected to this, and everything will be perfect. So, that, let's have a look. Hurry up and build, hurry up and build, hurry up and build. We're still making money. That reverses straight into that plane when it ends up being there. So now we can connect this to a car stop. Right? Which is one of these. Holy Jesus Manoli. Has everything just been made better? And then we connect it... I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Then we connect this, do we? To a stand. like so. It's a remote stand. I, I could be following this. This would have been a lot easier to do. Um, and then we connect this, because it doesn't have baggage bay, to that baggage bay. Just, just to increase the stress on that baggage bay, why not? And now it's fully operational. Now, we may actually be able to do this. All we need to do is buy a shuttle bus. So vehicles... I think maybe we need... Let's get two service cars, because why not? And I'm going to get two shuttle buses. We need another stair truck and another push force truck. And I'm going to buy two more baggage trucks. Just for cracks. We've got a lot of baggage trucks anyway. We've got two vehicle depots, so we shouldn't have too much issue storing all these vehicles. At least I don't think so. So the service car has pulled up now, which is good news. Two service cars. They came pretty quickly. And a new stair truck came very quickly. There's another pushback truck. That's... I don't know what that is. A baggage truck. Baggage truck. And here come the coaches. So here, these are our vehicle shuttle bus. Now, we have to wait for a scheduled flight. Now, we should be getting a flight. It's a stand 13. We don't have any yet. Oh, we're, we're max capacity for today. Unbelievable. So what I might do here is do a little cheeky number. Uh, we can't reschedule that flight, which is fine. Let's reschedule this Nordic flight, just this one. And we're going to push it down. Yeah, I know that. That's, that's where we can put it. So we've pushed that down to there. So we have to wait for time to pass for us to be able to actually see whether our remote stand is, is going to be in action. What we can inadvertently do is stop one of our small stands from operating now, just so we can maximise on our medium stands. Now, I think the bottom stand here could probably take the hit. Um, so what we may end up doing now is stopping the small aircraft stand from accepting any more flights. So. I don't know the best way of doing this without ruining our day. But what I might do... Let me bring this up. Um, there will be a way of doing this. Bring up the flight planner. Is it two, is it? Yeah. So if we, we could end up getting rid of stand two now, because we can only operate 75 flights. 
I don't think. No, I've only got the medium. Because eventually, what you what you should do is you should. Oh, hello, hi, speaking bear. Is ultimate commercial license, and I think this allows us to operate uh, operate two hundred flights a day, and we do need it. But we have we need a massive massive team to work that. Uh, large aircraft plant permit allows us to do large aircraft. So, do I start that? I think it's risky. Let's let's do Maverick fuel trucks. Let's get the the easy jobs out of the way first. It makes life easier. Um, <laughs> there's no point wh wh rushing around. Um, but the good news is we will now have a flight operating out of here, um, and it will be coming soon. Um, so very very soon indeed, uh, which is good news. Because um, I am temp I was tempted to just stop that going, but if we can get the big one where we can have more than 75 flights running that'll be really beneficial for us so yes let's see what we can do loads of medium flights we're still making a considerable amount of money which is good news in fact and our shops i don't oh we've spa did its tar did its thing but they want to come back in absolutely yes please Oh, they want more sales this time, but over a longer period, because we did their deal. McDonald's, they're waiting for stuff, but we're going to do that as well. That's good news. I think we need another shop. I really do. And maybe that can come down here when we get rid of an air, a stand, perhaps, maybe. Maybe. No real confirming whether that's actually going to happen. Um... So I don't know whether what to do. Let's wait. And we're going to wait till this goes off. Then we'll end the episode. Um, because I am really curious as to whether or not this will work or not. Um, plus it's another medium aircraft stand. So what we can do is we can push them. Look at this. They're going to they're gonna become more pushed to push the more expensive flights. Because they're clever, our guys. They're very clever. Um, so all of a sudden we're going to be getting more um, medium flights now. Um, as opposed to the little ones, which is which is what we need to do. And look at this, they filled up Wednesday and Tuesday and Wednesday full. Absolutely brilliant. That's good news. I like this. This is okay. It's full, but uh, and we don't get a lot of flights on the on the big ones. But that will change going into Thursday. Look at Thursday. It's looking very very busy indeed. So we're waiting on this aircraft because we want to see how it works and how it operates from its stand really. Um, we just had a delivery of fuel. That costs always costs a little bit of money, but that's okay. We're, we're on average we're earning very very nice, and that's with a, the odd bit of construction and building pointless conveyor belt systems and screwing up on subways. Um, what's wrong with these? Current queue is fifteen. Small car stops. Ah, oh, I never knew that. So we need some more small car stops. How curious. Right. Okay, not a problem, I suppose. Um, I can put some more small car stops in. Where's the small car stops? That's not it. There we go. We'll put a couple in here. And that might free us up a little bit. Very juicy. Have we got some problems again? Go, go. Honestly, sometimes everything gets in the way of each other on this game. And it can be quite frustrating. But it's still in alpha, I suppose. It has been for a couple of years. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got to be getting there now. This plane's got to be approaching soon, right? Um, where's the flight planner? Oh, it's very, very close. Could be the next plane that's coming in. Let's repair the runway for it. That's a Nordic airline. So it is Nordic Airlines. So we should see it coming now. And I think... This one here is going to go straight into our remote stand. And here comes the coach. <laughs> he really, really fumbles around. And look at them all getting in the coach. Does it need two coaches? 80 people it fa fitted on that coach. We've got an issue with the service vehicle. Of course we have. Frickin' hell. Oh, I don't think it's an issue anymore. It's 
So they all get off now. And then off they go. Oh, that's absolutely hilarious. For some reason they can teleport through walls. <laughs> they do all have to walk through my shop. I don't know whether any will actually stop and shop, but absolutely brilliant. Now, oh, wow, look, we got 16 grand from McDonald's. Great job, McDonald's. Do you want to come back? Can we? Do you know what? We had so much issue <laughs> <coughs> with the subway, it's quite tempting. Um, we can't have Burger King. Let's get a KFC in. We had an issue with the KFC before, but let's get KFC in. And we'll. I'm happy with KFC. If it works, it didn't work before. So these people are choosing not to go through the doors here. I might have an issue maybe with the security side of things. No, it's all readied up. Maybe because of that? I... Is it because it's staff only? Is it because that bit's staff only? I think it might be, you know. Get rid of that. That might make a big difference. Who knows? Either way, the coach... Um, what now? You can't find a staff room. Are you serious? It's a long walk, I know, but... Are you serious? Can we... As a, that's another thing. The secure exits, do they just have to be... Oh, you can't even edit. I was thinking, I was hoping, could they be for staff? But apparently not. Maybe we should have a staff room. That would be an idea in the secure area. Oh, yeah. So, look at them. They're getting on the plane. This is great news. Another pushback truck. Is it on time? Yes! Oh, my word, it worked! That that employee can't reach... Uh, I don't know what employee. thing is, it's not telling me where they're going. They're administrators. That's a security officer. But it's not those guys, is it? Flipping heck. No, oh, they can now. Maybe there was just an issue. I don't know. The good news is, is everything seems to be operating. We've got the new remote stands, uh, which is good news. And that means that we can start operating flights from remote locations like so. Which is good news. It means we can have loads and loads of remote stands in the middle here. Um, it's about to take off. Let's watch it. There we go. We have done it. We are now officially a CEO of a fully functioning international airport. And this is just the beginning. As there are a lot more to discover as a CEO, which has not been covered in the tutorial. With your current knowledge you've gained from building this airport, your next ones will be even more efficient and better. What do you mean? This one will be efficient and better. I will make it better than ever. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. If not, I don't know what's wrong with you. KFC is open. KFC. They're even wearing KFC things. Stunning. This could go very, very well. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will catch you all on the flippity flip. Bye-bye.